We've uh, had the opportunity to genomic test a lot of bulls. We've done all of our uh, in-waiting bulls initially, and then we started doing bulls uh, and getting genoma, genomic evaluations uh, on uh, bulls for selection purposes. Our selection criteria has not changed. We've still gone after the, the bulls out of the real solid, true breeding cow families that we felt would continue to provide profitable genetics. I've always maintained that uh, breeders ought to consider uh, fat and protein percents. Uh, uh, and the reason I say that, if you look at uh, genetically, uh, the heritability for fat and protein is double what it is for milk. And I think genomics is an opportunity for us at the that affiliated sires to be selecting uh, within these cow families for uh, traits uh, that is going to increase productive life and fertility. And that's the road we're going. Entry 34419, Peace and Plenty Aspen Ocean, exhibited by Morris and Farms LTD of Quinoca, Alberta. Second in the class is entry 3397, Golden Flow Damien Eden, exhibited by Cormdell Genetics Incorporated, TNL Cattle Company, and RF Ring of Bethany, Ontario. And your winning entry is entry 3402, T Triple T Gold Prize, exhibited by Trent Valley, Sybil Fisher, Pat Conroy, and Jason Mel. Congratulations. Judge your comments. Well, ladies and gentlemen, another nice class, and for me, a handy winner. Uh, just a heifer that's so balanced, so stylish. Uh, she's so correct all the way through. And she goes over the, the black heifer in second, and then that correctness of frame, she's just a little bit nicer up to the front end. She's a little stronger in that weather as a giant area. She's also showed me a little bit more balance throughout, and a little bit more femininity and cleanness all the way up to her head, and through her openness of rib, and down through that hock region. She also tracks just a bit straighter on those rear legs, maybe just a little bit more feminine in that bone quality than this black heifer in second. Black heifer in second really grabs your eye when you see her from the side of the ring. And she, she's, she's just so much more correct, uh, so much more angular all the way through from her head and neck. She's more feminine up through her front end. Over the top line, she's just a little bit cleaner cut throughout. And just a, just a little bit more balance and style all the way through than this big, powerful heifer in third. Heifer in third really got admired for outstandingness. A heifer that's extremely long from, from head to tail. And there's just so much more heifer here than, than the black heifer in fourth. Also, our third heifer is a little bit nicer through that front end, a little deeper through that chest floor, a little wider through that chest floor than this black silky heifer in fourth. Fourth over is just, just angularity of the heifer, just a little bit cleaner cut throughout, and the big powerful heifer coming behind her. That you just like to angle her up with what she's made extremely well. Congratulations.